Hi there. So being one who never leaves anything alone, I decided to tinker with the RFK amplifier some. <clears throat> In this case, the goal was to shorten the boot time. Uh, from as it was sent with the software, it took 32 seconds to boot. Um, I now have it down to about 22 seconds, so I shaved about 10 seconds off. And it took uh, multiple steps. Uh, step one, uh, I played with removing any cruft in the software, any services uh, like uh, NFS, uh, Samba, uh, anything that didn't need to run. And there's guides uh, on, the, in the, on the internet that uh, will help you. I just Google Raspberry Pi faster boot, you know, and it gives you some instructions on how to run some uh, analysis and um, show you what's taking time um, you know what's in you you'll just have to google and, and read what services do what and what's necessary and what's not necessary and uh, however I will also mention the very first thing I did before any of this was I cloned my SD card and there's a tool in the Raspberry Pi for copying your SD card and I just plugged in an SD card reader and uh, cloned it to a new card. But speaking of SD cards though, real quick, so switching gears just a little bit. Um, I used a better SD card, a faster SD card than what came in it, and that also improved uh, the speed. So I, I did some research on what was the fastest booting SD cards for Raspberry Pis, and I came up with the SanDisk Extreme Pro micro SD card, and with the 32 gigabyte uh, card, um, the larger card, will last longer as any non-volatile RAM. It looks for open blocks to write, randomly open blocks to write, so it doesn't have to rewrite over the same blocks. And with any in, in non-volatile RAM, as long as you're not, re you, you only have so many writes on the blocks before they wear out, uh, before you start having errors. So if you have a larger card, it will last longer. Uh, so this card improved the time some. So this is the card I chose to write to. The other thing I did was while I had it open, I put some heat sinks on the Raspberry Pi, um, on the CPU and, and uh, the memory and, and uh, also the video uh, uh, controller. And if you look inside here, you'll see the heat sinks on the Raspberry Pi in there. And uh, I'll get into why I did that a little more. So. Um, so going back to the services, you can see, you know, it gives you an example. You'll have to look in, through here and see what you can, what you can live without. And uh, but you can break your system um, if you remove or disable uh, the wrong services uh, or services that you might need. So careful with that. And um, another thing I did was I went ahead and I looked at how to overclock you can overclock the Raspberry Pi a little bit and you can put in some commands that will allow the CPU to run at full speed uh, under boot. Um, and over here on mine, uh, you can see I have it overclocked slightly, just a tiny bit. Stock frequency is at uh, 1500 meg and I have it set to 1750, which is a little bit over voltage, but don't do that without adding heat sink. And uh, some other things, um, that were done, do, 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 do. Where is, I thought I put something else in here. Um, okay, here we go. Disable splash screen and initial turbo 30. So what that does is it allows the CPU to run at full speed during boot, which, uh, which does help uh, the boot uh, some. And over here we can see if I run this command and we can see the CPU frequency running here at uh, 1750 meg. And this is running wide open. Uh, and I ran this for a while as a test to see if, uh, if it was stable. And let me stop that. I'm gonna do it with my other hand. And uh, here's some of the tests you can do for system analysis. You can see my start at finish in 2.61 seconds. Uh, for the kernel, user space 3.349, uh, um, and uh, which is pretty quick. And uh, this command here will show you what system services took how much time. And you can go through and, and decide, uh, Google what services do what, and decide what you need 
what you can live without in uh but i'll let you figure out uh figure that out so i i spent the time on it and i i modified mine to suit me now granted if you, you can easily break your system and and uh um uh, you <laughs> you may or may not get help from the factory so i'm a former linux admin and and quite confident what i'm doing and if i break it i'll fix it and i can always download new image from um from Reinhardt and uh, from his server and, and re-image the system. I'm not worried about it what, one bit. So if I break something, I'll fix it. Uh, but I also, like I said, I start off with a clone. But here, so let me show you the uh, the results of, and I'm just gonna turn it off and operate how I normally do. So turn the amplifier off, let it power down completely. Okay, and we'll turn it on here in one second. Okay, turned on. Now we'll watch this thing boot. And feel free to time this if you want, but it comes out to right at 22 seconds before it's at the uh, interface. And done. So I think that's uh, a worthwhile improvement on my end. All right, well, good luck.